You're most welcome as we gather in the beginning of this new week. Yesterday in the readings, St. James particularly kind of came and touched my life. We're in the second half of the reading from 1 James, verses 21 and 2. He said, Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. But you must do what the word tells you and not just listen to it and deceive yourselves. And he goes on to say, pure unspiled religion in the eyes of God, our Father is this. Coming to the help of orphans and widows when they need it and keeping oneself uncontaminated by the world. We can be contaminated by the world if we focus totally on the things of the world rather than on God and God's ways. Reaching out to the orphan and the widow, reaching out to those who are in need, is important in all of our lives. Again, I'm reminded of the judgment seen in Matthew's Gospel. Lord, when did we see you hungry <clears throat> and not give you something to eat? When did we see you naked and not clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and not come to visit you? And the master will say, so long as you did it to one of these, the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it unto me. Again, in the gospel of yesterday's Sunday reading, the gospel was taken from Mark chapter 7 verses 14 and 15 where Jesus says this people honors me only with lip service while their hearts are far from me the worship they offer it to me is worthless The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. Lord, may we listen to your word and be formed by your word. May we heed your word and put it into practice. May we live building your Father's kingdom as you came and taught us to make the Father's will and the Father's kingdom present in our world. If all of us did that, the bits and pieces of our daily lives, wouldn't the world be a changed place? And so with great confidence, I and you, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray your grace and blessing upon us and upon our families near and far. Keep them in your love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.